favorite brands haul and try on like you've never seen before. Hi, I'm Silvana and welcome to my channel. There's been quite a few new people here, so I'd like to give you a big thank you for your support. So I think it's very important for me to clarify that, the, that this video is not sponsored. All items are mine, most of them are old or sold out, and the intention of this video is primarily educational. Of course, I list as much as I can the items in my videos as per your request. Yeah, you can go and check them out. You can obviously buy them if you want to, but that's not my goal here. What I want here is to expose you to perhaps new brands to you. But remember, these brands are my favorite ones. They don't necessarily need to appeal to you, and it's completely fine. The core message here is to encourage you to get out there and explore brands and experience and get into boutiques. Don't get intimidated by the salesperson for their can be very snobby. Feel different fabrics, try different styles that get out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm trying to say. And find the brands that most resonate with you. I found mine that way. And I want you to, to do the same. It's way better to find your style that way than getting inspired by others. No, nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong, I get inspired by women all the time. But remember that they are completely different, they have different complexions, different body types, different lifestyles, so on and so forth. It's better if you get inspired by a brand that had you in mind, because brands have a certain woman in the process of creation. Normally these brands are not the cheapest, because the most generic high street brands, they are quite diluted in terms of personality. They want to serve everybody, so you end up being like everybody else. You want to go one level up. You don't need to go all the end to high-end designers. You can if you want to, and if you can afford, of course, but you want somewhat in between because you're going to definitely find your personality there. And also, because we're talking about you already having a solid foundation in your neutral colors. Please refer to my previous videos talking about capsule wardrobes and staples in our wardrobe. But this should constitute 80% of your wardrobe. In this video, we are talking about the remaining 20%. The, one, the pieces that will be the icing on the cake will bring your signature style forward. Therefore, you don't need to break the bank. You don't need to, to buy the entire wardrobe on these brands. They are a piece or two that you're going to collect over the years because they should have quality and therefore longevity. What I love the most about this brand is the philosophy behind them. And again, they are not necessarily cheap. But because they have great quality, and for the most part, they're very, very timeless. Therefore, I can't uh, can afford to wait until they come on sale. And most of them I got for a fraction of the price, which is not the most important thing here. I just got lucky that I got notifications that they got on sale. And I'm not attached to trends, I'm not attached to any of this. So that therefore, I can't wait a little longer and wait for them to come on sale and then I get them, if I'm lucky to get them in my size. But again, that's not the, the most important thing here. The most important thing is for you to identify with the brand and be loyal to them. Um, of course, you evolve, they evolve, and you're going to find new brands. That's, again, another purpose of this video, perhaps to expose you to new things that you haven't heard before. Please leave your comments if you have a preferred brand that you found out recently or that you've been wearing for a long, for a long time. I would like to, to know, to hear from you. As per usual, I will list all the items that are still available or similar styles in the description box below. So please feel free to go ahead and check them out if you want to. I hope you enjoyed this video. So starting off with Brian Schiller, and this has to be my favorite brand ever. They are five-time winners of CFDA awards and the designers, contemporary art and youth culture. Custom developed fabrics and the modern artisanal attention to detail define the brand. 
The collections include everything from laid-back tees and boots to dresses and tailoring. So I'm starting off with this Proenza Schuller number that it's a very simple dress, yet very, very flattering. It's, a, it's got a fine knit to it. It's pliable enough to follow my curves and yet thick enough not to be unforgiving. I don't even need to wear any shapewear with it. I love the frills in the right places, valuing my shoulders and highlighting my waist. I think it's the right length for me as well. I love the frills at the end. It's quite versatile, I can layer it because it's, this, the frills are soft enough so I can take, take some layers, I can wear with over a jumper on, a coat, anything I want and it will take it. It's pretty feminine and it's a midi dress which is quite sophisticated. I can easily go to a cocktail party with this depending on how I accessorize but I can also wear it with tennis and jackets and things like that of the weekend. It's just pretty much the sky is the limit for this dress. I love this sweater. It's a metallic one that brings some fun to the look. It's quite snug. It's not oversized. It's neither short or long. So you can adjust a little bit. You can tuck in. If you think it's a little bit long, it depends on your body shape. It goes with everything as well. And the beauty of that is that you can elevate your simple casuals with a piece like that. Esperanza Schuller has got the most amazing bags and shoes and they're very well made. I love this one. It's a tiny one with silver hardware here, which I like for the day. I think gold is pretty much a evening. It's not necessarily, it's just me. Um, you can, obviously, you, it's a crossbody, but you can wear whatever you want. You can, wear, you can wear on your shoulders. I just think it's a bit too long. So that's perfect for, for me when I'm working with a client and I'm running errands and I'm browsing stores and things like that that I want to have my hands free. And when I'm wearing something simple that you will just embellish the look and I don't need to worry about anything else. It's a beautiful suede. I like the burgundy. It's pretty neutral yet. It, gives a bit of depth to any outfit. I think that's the perfect little bag to have for those days when you can't be bothered, you are just um, doing all your activities, you're, you're, you're going on with your day and you don't want to be thinking about what you're carrying. And I was lucky enough to score this beauty. It's a bigger one, also in suede. That's not the case for all of my bags. I have another two bags and they're letter. I, I absolutely love the size as well. This is pretty much of a work kind of bag. I can't, you can always, you know, you can wear with a strap on your shoulders. I always prefer to use the top handle. I like gray for a variant of neutrals, blacks and browns. I like this color and I love that it's got all the compartments that we need. And it's a beautiful number, very classy, very timeless. I like when you wear a piece like that, you, you can rest assured that you're looking modern, that you're look so, looking sophisticated and yet timeless. And you won't see anybody else wearing it. That's for sure. I love to replace pants for Bermudas from time to time. They give the look a boyish feel, which I like to counterbalance with pretty shoes for balance. This military green is a must. It's got a cargo feel that it's super cool while it's super flattering at the same time. You can take it to the office for an expected casual Friday by pairing it with a blazer. Here I'm keeping the same family color as well as the white base and accessories for a light result. You can also achieve a super cool weekend look just by adding a denim jacket and sneakers. Founded by London College Fashion of graduate Sandra Sander in 2005, the brand was named after her childhood nickname. The philosophy behind the brand is that if a garment is designed to function well, it will by definition be beautiful. Based in her hometown of Budapest, the contemporary label creates wardrobe staples that are ultra-feminine and feature unexpected details which I absolutely love. 
I absolutely love this dress the minute I laid my eyes on it. From the color to the one shoulder, you know, I'm a big fan of one shoulder everything. And I love that it's cinched at the waist, it's another midi dress. It's got a, it's got a special finish to it, it feels soft. It's not itchy like normally some knits are. You, can, you have to wear with shapewear though, it can be a little bit unforgiving, but that's fine because it's not a summer dress anyway. And you can layer it as well, and I think it looks even better layered, and I love it with the black velvet jacket. It's just the contrast is beautiful, it's one of the most stylish color combinations. And obviously you can wear with, with, with sandals and lighter accessories, of course, but I like the winter, like fall feel to it with the jacket. One of the things that Nanushka are mostly known for is their vegan leather, which is the softest I've ever seen. Because they're so comfortable, so pliable, it's so much more versatile to create different pieces that normally genuine, genuine leather wouldn't allow you to. So what I love about this dress, I've highlighted in another video, I layered it with a turtleneck, but here on its own, it just highlights the, the, a beautiful detail here at the front. I love with contrasting, with the contrasting accessory, the red bag. It's a long dress, so you pr probably not gonna wear it much during summer, unless it's an evening and it's not as hot where you live. Um, obviously you can wear with boots, that's fantastic. Make sure it's a pointed toe shoe, uh, boots though, just to make that long, the legs longer. I love this dress. It's so versatile. You can put something and wear with a jacket like I'm doing here, a leather jacket. I love the contract, the contrast with black leather, which was so big during this past seasons and denim. They're a marriage made in heaven. I, I love the retro feel to this turtleneck and the detail here, the cut out at the, at the neck. The cut out at the neck is just so modern. It just elevates any look you can pretty much wear with everything. It warms up. It's a little bit see-through and therefore you can wear with a beautiful bra underneath or you can wear a tank if you're a little bit self-aware. And I wear it from jeans to to more dressy pants and layering here on top of this dress looks phenomenal and pretty much there's no limit for this. These are leather pants, not as you know them. Made from an ultra soft vegan leather, the fit is a dream, the color is super rich and goes with absolutely everything. Treat it as you would black pants and wear it from a fit denim shirt like here to blazers and turtlenecks. This has to be my favorite dress ever. It's a fox leather one in a rich brown that does wonders for me. It's comfortable, it's warm, it's super chic. It ticks all the boxes, really. It's oversized in the right places, yet it's cinched at the waist, which prevents it from being overwhelming. I've been wearing white leg pants the minute they came back on trend. They've been on for a while now, which I'm loving, for they're so much more flattering for me. I have to admit that they're not for everyone, but if you like white leg jeans, these are great. They got a fair bit of elastane, which makes them super comfortable. I went one size up with this one and took, and took it in a little bit at the waist for a better fit for me. So this is a TB number. I love the color, it's a baby blue. I love the shape. Really, really gives structure to the shoulder. There's no pads there, it's just how it was cut. So it's really good for someone who's got round shoulders. And I love that it's cinched at the waist. You can make it even more highlighted by wearing the belt. I'm wearing with a, an elasticated belt that was looks like it was made for it, but it's not. It's a Sandra one, and I love that kind of belt because it doesn't take any space. It just highlights and do what it's supposed to do without being bulky or being stiff. And I love the retro vibe to it as well. It looks like very 60s. 
and it's very flattering for most body types as well because it highlights the waist. To lighten it up, I'm pairing it with these beautiful pumps from Wandler, uh, one of my favorite shoe brands. They are mostly um, accessories. I love their bags and their shoes. I have a couple of <laughs> shoes and I, I absolutely love this square toe. The design is phenomenal. I think it looks very pretty with the baby blue of the dress, but you can wear something a little bit more contrasting if you want to. And it's completely fine. So that's it for this video. I really hope that I inspired you to get out there and try what there is. There is a myriad of things for you to try, new things, and I hope you find the brands that you love and that will make you feel amazing. And also that I've somehow inspired you to buy less than better. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for your time and for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.